Hey guys and welcome to another UK random video. Right, so today we have another unboxing video for you. We have this box sent to me from Powered by Pops. Um, many of you might have heard of them. Some of you might remember them as Funko Teapops. Now, I've never bought from them before, but quite a few of my YouTube buddies have and they recommended them. Now, Powered by Pops, we're having a 50% off mystery boxes. So basically, I've paid £30 and the value of this box is 60 Now, I know how it works because I've seen other people's videos, but honestly, I've got no idea what I'm expecting here. They did ask me um, a few of the franchises that I'm interested in. Um, obviously Star Wars, DC... Um, back to the future, all that sort of stuff. Um, so the value of this should be £60. Um, I've got the pop directory here ready. We'll go through them and see what's what. And um, I don't know what to expect in regards to how many pops are in here. It could be two that are worth £30 each. It could be three that are £20 each, or it could be loads that are between five and £10 each. I've got no idea. I just really hope there's something in there, at least a couple of pops that make me go, yeah. So, without further ado, let's open the box. Which is well wrapped up, a hell of a lot of tape all over it. They did actually send me instructions <laughs> on how to open the box. Because they've got a new method of uh, packaging. To be honest with you, I'm really scared because, you know what, I'm going to read it again. Let's see what they said. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Right, so they're saying... We've tried a new packaging technique, which may take a little bit of time to open. Make sure you cut along the center of the fragile tape and not too deep, as always. Let's just get it open. It's a good thing I'm excited, otherwise I probably would have thrown it away by now. Okay, is it two boxes put together? Interesting. Right, so that was a bit of a mission to get into, but they do seem very well packaged. So I should have some uh, well protected pops in here. So it looks like four boxes, so there should be four pops. Right, so we have our four boxes now open need to lie down right so let's get the four pops out and see what we have actually got like I said, i've got no idea oh bubble wrapped which is good oh oh i guess i was wrong there's two in here right okay Apex Legends is a special edition. Um, not a game I know much about. I have seen this figure before, actually. It's Pathfinder. Um, I remember actually finding the chase of this in uh, Tesco a few months ago. But because it's not one I collect, I didn't really go for it. But it is a pretty cool pop. Um, doesn't really fit in my collection. But we'll see what we've got here and we'll go from there. 
So the value of this bad boy is... Right, so the next one. I don't want to look in, but then I don't want to damage anything either. Trying to do this without looking is not the easiest thing. Oh, we have a Star Wars figure. Who do we have? Ah, Seventh Sister. That's from Star Wars Rebels. It's not a line I've uh, started collecting. There you go, box is in uh, pretty good condition there. In fact, very good condition. Let's take a look. Uh, hmm. Let's see what other ones come with it. Okay. There's some pretty cool looking figures. The chopper looks good. Hera does. And Zeb as well. Hmm. I have to look into these. And this one is worth... Right, so that's box one. Done. Box number two. Hopefully there's two pops in there as well. It looks as though there is. Right, so. Look at this without looking, man. First figure is. Oh. Ah. J. Jonah Jameson from uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. In a pop protector. Interesting. So this is a pop in a box exclusive. Hmm. Maybe this one has uh, quite a bit of value. Hence the pop protector. Well, believe it or not, this bad boy is worth... No way! Hmm. Actually, let's take a look at the back. Okay, I've got Hydro Man from this collection actually I think Hydro Man is the only one from this range of uh, Spider-Man that I have right next actually let's turn these in a bit oh Scarif Stormtrooper oh that is cool that oh wow I love my Stormtroopers. That actually looks really cool. I really like this figure. So this one's from Rogue One. Who do I have from this? I've got Baz Malbus I've got from this. I have... Is he the only one I've got from this? Ugh. I've actually had to move some of my Star Wars figures. I've run out of space. I need to start space planning again. Rogue One, yeah. Where's Baze? I don't know where he is. I'll find him. Did he make it? He's made his way up here somewhere. I know he has. That is a very cool figure. And he is worth... Cool. Happy with that. Okay, so that's number two done. So we're four pops in. So far, I I'm pretty happy with them. Um, all right, eight the apex figure. It's all good. It's all good. Try not to look. Captain Marvel, okay. I already have this figure. Where is she? It's right there. Um, pretty cool pop. I know Captain well Captain Marvel isn't um one of the higher priced pops, but she's worth and now we have, oh, I have Lando as well. Where is he? I know you're there, mate. There he is. Is that 240? Yeah. Okay. That's a cool figure. Everyone loves Lando, I think. 
such a cool guy, very classy. It is a really cool figure. I think it was actually probably my first Star Wars figure that I got. Lando Carrissian. And he is worth... Three boxes done. Six pops. That's not bad. Now... This is where we find out if there was really value in here. Feels like there might actually be pop protectors. But it's hard to tell with the bubble wrap, right? Where's the... Oh, this one's... Oh, no, they're not in pop protectors. Okay, let's go with this one. Oh, a range trooper. Cool. Okay, I like. I like. It's safe to say I'm happy with that. Oh, that is such a cool little figure. And I actually got <laughs> his little brother last week, the week before. Don't know when I'm uploading this. <laughs> Yeah, so we have our Range Trooper. That is quite cool. From the same line as Lando. Um, is it the same Chewbacca I've got? 239 Chewbacca, yep. Yeah. That is so cool. And there's a really cool range as well. So I'm going to look out for those bad boys. There you go. What do you guys think of the Range Trooper? You know what? This is yeah. It's made me happy. Right, and last but not least, I sort of peeked, but I didn't even see what the hell it was. No. Okay. Nalan Chill. Is he from the Katana band? Not the cantina band, that's don't talk properly. I'm sure I'm sure he's I'm gonna have to look it up. I've got to do my research. Guys, I have said many times I do love it. Oops. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so guys, like I've said before, I absolutely love Star Wars, um, especially the first three that came out. However, I don't claim to know everything about the film. I can't tell you every single character and what they do and who they done and why they did it. And I don't care. I enjoyed the films. That's what matters. I've seen them so many times. You apparently get a few of these ugly mofos wrong. But yeah, that, that is a very cool looking figure. The box is in all right condition. All right, there's a bit of a crease down Literally, I don't know if you can tell through his name. Not a problem. That is so cool. I think he is from the band. That looks like some kind of instrument. If I'm wrong, I'm probably getting slated right now by everyone. But you know, I don't care. It's my show. I can say what the hell I want. So he's worth... So guys, after adding all that up, the value of this, oh, it's only just under 60, but it's 56 pounds worth of pops. Now, I paid 30, plus postage and packaging, but you're not supposed to include that. So technically, am I happy with it? I'm definitely happy with these three. These are brilliant. Um, there's two there that I've already got. Um, one, it's not from anything I collect. It's not the end of the world. I can trade that. I can sell it. I can even add it to my giveaway, which I'll be doing very soon. So keep an eye out. Uh, there's one which I thought was valuable, but it's not. Even though it's in a pop protector, it's an exclusive. But on the other hand, these pops cost me £3.75 each, technically. Not including postage. Now that, my friends, is a bargain. Um, what can I say? What can I say? Um, 
So powered by pop, packaged these wicked. Um, nothing was damaged. All right, there was a bit of damage on um, this one here, but nothing major. I'm not annoyed about any of them. Um, delivery time was very quick. I'm trying to think how long ago I ordered it. It's only been a few days, four or five days maybe. Um, did I get value for money? I did. I paid thirty pound. I got all of these. If I was spending sixty pounds, these probably aren't ones I would have gone and bought. Maybe the stormtroopers, definitely, because I do. Like I said, I love my stormtroopers. But this was a really good box, and you know what? Fifty percent off. So guys, go and check out Powered by Pop. Um, they're on Instagram, which is where I see them all the time. Um, PXP. It's here, and then Powered by Pop, and. All the details in the description below. So, guys, make sure you check them out. Let me know what you think of these. Did I get a good deal? Which ones do you like? Which ones are you not so keen on? Give us your likes. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my videos. Guys, peace.